Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's update it's all about the finishing of the track in the station section. Also a create the new board for the new TMD area and also a little bit on track weathering and what will be coming up in future updates. So without further ado let's crack on with the video. So now I've finally finished wiring in all of this section here. Uh, I've used the weigh gauge to measure out all of the tracks, so all the spacings uh, are spot on as I can make it, and using the track setter to get the track as uh, straight as possible. But um, a massive milestone reached in getting all of this bit complete and spaced out ready for the station. So before I go any further, I'm going to clear up um, a massive amount of mess that I've created around the loft at the moment as you can see it's just become a bit of a dumping ground so i'm going to spend a little bit of time now uh, to kind of get this all straightened up and underneath the layout sort of tidied and organized and uh, then i'm going to start working on getting the track weathered all in this section here and uh, this piece of track here is still to be wired in because this is going to form uh, where the sort of TMD will go once they get this board in on this section. So, yeah, a big tidy up first and then um, a little bit more on the track weathering. So this is quite a few hours later. I've tidied up all of this section here. It's um, looking a lot tidier and a bit more organised. I've now put in place uh, temporarily this board. I just need to trim off the edge and put the supports in underneath here. And then I've just started marking out where the four lane TMD will go. So I'll have the four tracks here, a couple of points just to bring so the locos in through there. And then one point up there, which will join on to that piece in there. So I'm going to get uh, this bit cut, the under supports done, and uh, then sort of connect up this temporarily. Uh, just so I know where all the spacings are um, and get some cork down. This line here um, will be the DC line, which I'll bring round here and then we'll join up down through into that section. So there'll be sort of a gradual curve as it comes through there. Then pretty much I'm on to the next stage of deciding what I'm going to do scenic wise. I've started to do some track weathering. I've been placing in parts of um, the sleepers uh, to cover where I've put dropper wires. Um, currently, I've sort of done the middle tracks and I'm just working my way sort of all through uh, these sections here. I've still got quite a few to do. Um, but I've actually run out of um, acrylic, so I need to get some more of that before I can finish off the weathering on this section here um, but for now I'll leave it as it is and just get this board done and then I've still got to weather the bits of track on there and then I'll put the top board down uh, for the castle scene that will be up in this corner here and then pretty much I've got to then decide uh, where like my road will come out and what I'm going to do in here originally I was going to do um, a bit of a good shed so um, I'm going to have a sort of a point that will come off of the DC line and then we'll have some sort of factory building or goods yard in here. And then it can split off and go back up through this way and then continue the loop around there. So I'll bring you back in a few moments when I've got this board in place and got some of this track connected up. And... Um, We'll take a look and see how that looks and then probably end the video with a little bit of a running session. So I'll be back in a few moments. So this board is all in place. I've put an extra support in down this section here. And on this section here, I'm going to build off a little control panel, uh, probably for sort of light switching uh, for points in the future. Uh, so I've kind of just left uh, a little block in here that I can be able to um, add something for the future. So now what I've done is to lay out roughly where the TMD will be. 
I've changed the point set up a little bit um, to make it a little bit longer. Uh, so it's about five foot that I'll be able to store uh, some locos and wagons and stuff and to do kind of uh, a little bit of sort of shunting and stuff. Uh, maybe if I was to get a little sort of diesel shunter or something in the future, uh, then I can sort of have a play shunting a load of wagons and stuff up and down on these lines here. So the next plan will be to get the cork down uh, ready in this section here and to finalise fixing all of the track together. I've kind of used a load of um, off-cuts bits of track that I got donated just to um, kind of fill this section here. So I'll get all of that sorted in the future. Um, for now, I'm going to continue to put on the sleepers in between the tracks and uh, get ready for the next stage of weathering. So I hope you can see that this section is progressing nicely. I've kind of timed it in quite well with the weather slowly but surely picking up, although the last few days haven't been great. But um, now all of the track is in and I know that it's all running fine apart from this uh, TMD area. Um, but that's uh, a sort of a future build that now once the weather's um, sort of picked up, it will be that I can just crack on with scenics with the uh, gluing times being a lot better than what they were sort of a month or so ago. So I'm going to kind of um, stop, end the video here and finish off the last sort of few bits of track work uh, ready for the next update. So hopefully in the next update it will be that I'll be doing the continuation of uh, the track weathering. I'll have all of this in place and ready to be weathered as well. And then it will be time to start all of the scenic corner up in the back here with the castle scene and building some of the platforms. So that will be in the next update. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed to me recently. Uh, currently, I'm only a few subscribers away from 2,000, which is you know, absolutely amazing. It's kind of blown me away that the support that everybody's given me. And I'd like to say a big thank you to all of those ones that have continued to support me. And a big hello and welcome to all the new ones that have joined me recently. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to all those people that follow me on Patreon and get to see some of the behind the scenes pictures and videos that I take uh, whilst I'm doing uh, work up in the loft. So thanks very much for joining me on this update and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.